George Santos, the serial fabulous congressman from Nassau County, New York, made a much-awaited announcement today that will certainly lead to cheers from his throngs of supporters. He said, quote, I am proudly announcing my bid for re-election for New York's third. This is about taking back our country and restoring greatness back to New York. Attached to the tweet was a press release that included a quote from the freshman congressman, good isn't good enough, and I'm not shy about doing what it takes to get the job done. The announcement follows months of speculation over whether Santos would even be able to finish his first term, let alone run for another. He's become one of the most followed congressmen by the media and one of the most embarrassing for his fellow Republicans. But Santos has remained, largely keeping a low profile since the height of the media circus, though he did show up outside the New York City courthouse two weeks ago showing his support for former President Trump. So is there anything that can stop him now? And most importantly, can he actually win? Joining us now, again, is Josh Glavazan. Democratic Nassau County legislator who also ran for Congress in Santos's district in 2022. Thanks for coming back. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having me on the show. All right, so why do you think he's doing this? George Santos believes he can win. And really? And fact alone is uh, the degradation of the seriousness of our politics. All right, this is somebody under local, state, federal, and international investigation. He belongs at home with an ankle monitor, not in the House of Representatives. And the fact that he's running and basking in the national embarrassment of his own making, it's deleterious to democracy and it must be condemned. But you don't think he's going to win the Republican primary, do you? Uh, George Santos, what are the chances that New Yorkers start liking New Jersey? Zero. The chances that George Santos wins one single vote, that one sentient human being of good conscience votes for him. Well, no, he'll zero. get a few votes here and there, but you don't think from analyzing your, your district... Mm -hmm. He can't win the Republican primary. I represent, I'm a Democrat and I represent a Trump district. And the Republicans in my district are furious. George Santos lied to them. And now he has the audacity to try to bamboozle them again. I will tell you that we have real problems on Long Island. We need money. We need the salt uh, deduction restored. We need money for bridges and roads. We need a congressman who passes bills, not one who couldn't pass a lie detector test. <laughs> Is this a way for him to raise funds? I'm sure it is, right? And, we, and George Santos has ghost donors, right? Donors that don't exist. He's funneled money through his campaign, hundreds of thousands at an Italian restaurant. Uh, I couldn't eat that much rigatoni. <laughs> well, I would think, by the way, it'd be great for Democrats if he was the Republican candidate, so, right? I mean, it's, it's not going to happen. Poli but. Politically, yes, but we're putting country over party. It's bad for Democrats because the Democrats in my district are not served by him. Our school districts need money okay. for school security. Our fire districts need apparatus. You guys would love it if Santos come We on, need him come gone. You, you guys and I'm would love it. We need him and I'm going to run to replace him and beat him. All right. And you're going to have competition on the Democratic side, which will be more interesting, it sounds like, than on the Republican side. Josh, thanks for coming back. Thanks Appreciate for having it. me. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.